Yes. The other card is this one. Okay. And this says success. Okay. So I'll let everybody else tune in first of all, see what they get, and then I'll um I'll look into it. Okay, so the basic meaning of the magician is it's linked with spirit guides and it's saying that you can either go in this direction or that direction. Just to mean you can either take the high road or the low road. Um, you know, the choice is yours. You don't realise it, but the choice is yours. So that's the basic meaning. And then we've got the next card, which says success. What do you guys think about that? And this is for Kelly, Kelly Fossum. Does Kelly like cats? I see a little kitten playing around. Oh, do you like cats, Kelly? Or can you take a kitten? You've got a, a cat running around. Okay. Anyone else getting anything from those cards? Uh, she does, she has a cat that is ill. That's right. Yes. Yep, that's true, Sue, because Sue's popping in and out. Who's, yeah, she's popping in and out. So um, did you have your cat from a kitten? Yeah, did you have your cat from a kitten, Kelly? Yeah, I just wonder if it's a memory link, maybe. That's so sad. So sad having to, having to make that decision and choice, but sometimes it's the best thing for the animal it's not fair to have them suffer, you know, when we believe in heaven, I believe in heaven, I believe in, in you know, pets, you know, having, you know, being a, amongst everybody else in heaven, that's what I believe. Coming to a crossroads, you know the right way to get, to, to go and you take it and success is there. So yeah, that makes sense, thank you. Doreen. All right, so let's have a look and see what else I get. So with the magician card, yeah, I, you know, the magician means that your spirit guides, your loved ones, your help, helpers all around you are calling you in and giving you um, the strength, I think, to go forward. Um, you've got this hard decision. Just to mean what to do, what to do, kind of like, you know, it's a bit like the scarecrow in the um, Wizard of Oz. It's like, you know, he went for, for his gut feeling. Does that make sense? It's like go in this direction or you could go in this direction. So it's like you've been in a bit of a quandary. Um, the success card means that you can't make a wrong move because your, your intention is from the heart. Your decision is from the heart. So let's have a look. Okay, so Mary Jane, you might be getting a new one or a cat is back to her kitten stage yes yeah, she will be she will be when she passes over so mary jane said i pulled the temperance card and that's about balance isn't it it's about getting the balance once she's moved to the other side yeah i believe i don't know if anybody's seen that film um it's called a dog's journey my goodness is that a wonderful film and it's all about this dog and his owner are you know has to let let the dog go because very poorly and as the dog is passing over he said come back for CJ um, come back and help her and he did he came back in through another dog and that dog found CJ and became you know CJ's best friend and then that dog passed away and then it came back into another dog oh my goodness the story is amazing very very emotional but I think that happens with pets. I think, you know, pets and their, their energies come back through other pets. I truly believe that. 
So let's have a look, Kelly, and just see what's going on with you. Okay. Um, so I'm picking up, you know, there, there is a celebration. And if you imagine a celebration waiting for um, your, your cat, waiting for your cat, imagine that, you know, your cat's mum or your cat's kind of other um, cats that have been around, you know, you in the past, maybe in your childhood or as you're growing up, that sort of thing. Um, all of those are going to be getting ready to celebrate and, and kind of like, you know, it's the party time for them. It's kind of like that celebration, okay, get together. So, you know, and, you know, this is, this is, you know, you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, there is about, this is about kind of standing up for yourself and uh, putting up some boundaries around yourself. So try not to get into conversations um, with people who've got strong views, okay? People that are, um, quite blinkered and one-sided okay so what you're doing is you, you're you're needing to um, put a closed um, unit around yourself and make sure that you are protecting okay so put yourself in the middle of a crystal ball put yourself in the middle visualize yourself there and put mirrors facing outwards all the way around you top and bottom as well and this is your protection and it basically means that while your heart is healing um, because you're having to, um, you know, make those decisions and it's going to be painful for you. So while you're doing that, um, you're putting yourself in that protection. Um, it seems to be um, a love life situation, maybe an emotional situation that means that two people will come back together. Um, it, it means that, um, you know, when you reconnect or you get on better, okay, for some it could be to do with the love life. It could be to do with a friendship or family member, but it does indicate the reconnection. Okay, energy is uh, is coming back. Mine did, says so, Sue. So both of them, and they are coloured the same and have the same personalities. Isn't it? Isn't it funny? But I do believe that many of our pets re reincarnate. I do believe that. I heard that about that movie. I'm rush. I'm rushing as you talk about. It. Yeah, it's, honestly, that movie is a wonderful movie and I think it would help you, Kelly, to watch that movie. It really would help you. Mm. Okay, thank you to everybody who's um, putting their energies into this reading for everybody. That's really lovely. Appreciate that. Okay, so now we're going to do Lisa, our lovely Lisa Samuels. I will send you over um, the availability, Lisa, for Jerome, okay, um, so that he can pick when he wants his reading. So Lisa. Lisa. You have the moon card. Okay, so sometimes we have to sometimes get down. Does that make sense? Get down lower. We have to get down lower in order to see what we would normally not see. Okay, sometimes it takes um, a deep kind of um, something deep in order to, to really click and understand. Okay, so the moon has got psychic ability. Sometimes it can be, you know, really being in tune, um, really kind of, I mean, I know you are, you're very intuitive. Okay, that's the moon. The other card with it is this. So I think um, there seems to be somebody around you who has been judging you for wrong in the wrong way okay putting some sort of judgment on you can you see that sliding off it's, <laughs> it's not me <laughs> it's because it's on a slant <laughs> oh dear i'll have to put 
something underneath it so that it doesn't slide. Stay, thank you. Yeah, so you can see sometimes you're judging yourself too harshly. Can you see him looking at himself like you're you're really judging too harshly and sometimes you need to let up and, and say you're doing the best you can. Yeah. Okay, Kelly, all our love to you. Um, we're sending you lots of spiritual hugs. Um, it's not an easy day for you, but you know, you know where we are. This is your spiritual family. So Mary Jane called the Queen of Swords. Um, what do you see in your Queen of Swords, Mary Jane? And get some other cards out as well. Oh, since I've changed my room now, this doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's really hard <laughs> to get everything while sitting down. I like things around me. I'm still learning. Okay, so what I, yeah, I, I would say that, um, yeah, the Queen of Swords to me is usually somebody who's got two sides to them. Are you around somebody who's a bit two sided, Lisa? Are you around somebody who's got kind of like, it doesn't mean to say they're a good and a bad side. It, sometimes it means that they can sometimes be really, really great. And then other times they can flip. And um, that can be sometimes due to fear, um, due to stress, due to, insecurity, um, all sorts of things. Sometimes that can happen. Okay, so I don't know if that makes sense um, to you because um, that is very similar to the moon card because the moon, moon has got two sides. Okay, and sometimes um, we have to play about with, you know, what that is meaning to us, you know, seeing things from different angles. I wanna add this card in. I love this. These are oh, these be beautiful cards, these are. Okay, this is from the deck, Oracle of Visions. Okay, by Caro Machetti. Okay. Okay, so that's it as well. So this is to me about serenity. It's about kind of saying, I've, I'm okay. I feel safe enough um, in my own skin. I feel safe enough with, uh, with where I am. Okay, and it's about basically knowing that there are um there is sometimes life is not easy and I know that you've been through it Lisa I know that you've been through it in in your past and um what we have to do is say that I've been at my most vulnerable and now I know that I'm strong it's like you realize just how strong you are you realize that you are um able to basically kick ass spiritually physically emotionally okay so that's what i see with that does anybody want to have a look and see on this card what they're seeing because this is quite first thing that comes into your mind with this card what do you guys think Lisa is a badass. Yes, you are, girl. Love that kick ass. Too right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Coming into loving themselves. I like that, so. I like that. It is. I mean, she's contemplating. She's been through a lot. And she's now kind of like in that serene place where she's still that little bit of vulnerability, still a little bit of that. Um, but she's happy within herself enough to know, to understand what the what re, what is really going on and to have the empowerment to say, but you're not going to get to me. You're not going to get to me. So... That's what I see with that one. 
Okay, should we stick with those cards, guys? What do you think? I think they're gonna work out really well. Enjoying her femininity, empowerment, I like that. Yes, Lisa. If anybody is coming in new and they would like me to pick some cards for them, um, then please let me know. Okay, um, so next one is Lisa, uh, Linda Winger. Are you there, Lisa, uh, Linda? Are you there, Linda Winger? Make sure she's there before I pick a card for her. Um, Cause you kind of have to be there um, for to do it. That's okay, Lisa, darling. Merry Christmas. Okay, just for um, anybody who's watching out there, um, I'm doing a raffle. Okay, today's date is the 20th of December, 2021. Um, 21st yeah of December so it's it's winter solstice so we're doing a, a raffle and um, these are the available numbers okay so far so you can Sue still needs to pick one one more so Sue you've got one more these are solstice um yeah so pick one more Sue um And if anybody else wants to have a go, it is a pound if you live in the UK. If you're outside of the UK, then it's about, it's the equivalent of two pounds. Uh, for the US, it is $2.50, okay? $2.50 around that. Okay, so you've got a choice of this crystal ball. Um, and this is sto, what did, what did I, I always forget it. Um, stomatolite, so stomatolite, this one. Okay, so there's that one. Um, there is a crystal ball, okay, so you can do um, lots of scrying in that, okay, crystal ball. I'm also going to add in this with it. It is a bangle, believe it or not, um, but it has got a couple of little gems missing, but um, I just thought that looked quite pretty, okay, so I'm going to add that in there as well with that, okay, so, and the, the other choice is a black obsidian crystal ball, okay, now you can look into this and sometimes you can do transfiguration, okay? Yeah, transfiguration. Well, that's where spirit overshadows you and you can see um, spirit, okay? Maybe your guides, maybe a loved one. You can see them kind of um, blend with your image, okay? Sounds a bit freaky, but it's, it's, it's good. Um, the other choice is a um, reading with myself, a 30 minute reading. You can have that as a gift voucher. Um, this will be sent to you, the gift voucher, um, obviously with a number on. Um, and um, you can either keep that yourself or give it to someone else. Um, or there is this beautiful angel, okay? This is the lovely angel. And you can put a tea light in there or crystals. Okay, and yeah, she's beautiful. Give her a close up. So yeah, that's... The lovely angel okay so she's quite a big girl so yeah that is the angel so there's two you there's two main winners main prize winners um so obviously the first person gets first choice second person gets second choice um and then there's two mystery prizes as well okay 22 sue we do have 22 yes I'll put you down for 22. There you go. Yes. Okay, this is a very clear crystal ball. You could really read well with that. But the black is so full. Yeah. You have your numbers. You do. You do, you do. Okay, so Linda is there. Um, so let's have a look. Belinda. Okay, this is for you. And we're all going to read for you. And we're going to read with the Oracle ones. Okay. I'll not get this shine on it. There you go. 
All right. So these are the Oracle of Visions cards, okay, by Cairo Marchetti. Oh, yeah, she's a lovely angel, isn't she? Love the crystal ball. Yeah. So, so what are you guys picking up from here? And this is for Linda Winger. Linda Winger. What do you guys think? Um, oh, oh, just trying to uh, oh, trying to multitask here. <laughs> it's not always easy with me. Don't want YouTube. I and Facebook. So what are you guys picking up? I know there's, um, there's a delay, isn't there? Sometimes there's a delay. Okay, so I'm just going to put a notice in our classes chat. We did a really nice, um, let me try and do it without, okay. Okay, one. I am doing readings now, live, and a raffle. Put that in there. Okay. Right, let's go and see. There. I haven't pushed it over too much, have I? No. Okay, so... So Mary Jane pulled the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm doing um, a course uh, coming up, Mary Jane. It does involve the um, tarot um, in it, week five and six. I get she is in her head way too much. Okay, so are you thinking too much, Linda? Is there something going on where you're stewing on something? Things going round and round and round. Now, the Queen of Cups to me is that like a Pisces type of character. It's not saying you are a Pisces, but um, Pisces characters, I should know because I am, can be dreamy. They can have, put a face on and say, everything's fine. Everything's okay. Don't you worry about me. But inside, they might be breaking their heart. They might be feeling, you know, um, it's like um, emotional or... Um, or sensitive, but they've got this kind of front on that they try and um, mask. Yeah, I sure am in my head too much. Oh, so you understand that. Well done, Sue. So what does anybody else think with this? Overthinking things. Yeah, sometimes it can be with this. Can you see this card? Yeah, lots of fear going on. There's so much brilliant changes ha happening. I'm, I'm really, you know, it's like, I, I can't explain it. I just know, I just know we're all gonna be in a really good place uh, within a couple of months. It's, it's gonna be amazing. Um, okay, what else do I get for Linda? Have a look, Linda, Linda, Linda. Okay, so everything seems to be a little bit upside down for you, Linda. Um, it seems to be somebody who's making you cross or angry. It could be the situation that's happening around. There's frustration there. Um, we do have the overthinking card here in the tarot. Um, but I do feel that you're trying to look at things from a different angle, a different situation. You're trying not to, um, you know, you're, you, you realise you're in your head too much, which is, you know, you've said already. Um, but with the hanged man, it does mean that whilst everything is in limbo, 
it means that you are able to look at things from a different perspective, okay? Yeah. Um, so emotionally, everything seems to be kind of like overflowing. You're overflowing with emotions. You're overflowing with um, feelings, okay? Um, we've all been, you know, if you are looking into what is really going on, you know, in the underground dumps and things like that, it's like some of the things that we see is going on you can't unsee so be careful how far down you go um with videos and pictures okay just be careful and um, that's not to say don't look into it um but you know sometimes it's it's hard um but in answer to my question that i was asking about will things be very different in the next um couple of months i got two cards that says yes and yes so um it's just agreeing with us so yeah it's all coming um, so Sue says decisions are being stuck. Um, yeah, so you're stuck on your decisions. Okay, if you've got some decisions to make and you feel a little bit kind of stuck with them. Okay, so there you go. Just a, a little one for you, Linda. There you go. Um, I feel I've gone down the rabbit hole as far as I can go. Yeah, so now maybe it's time to take a walk in the woods, clear your head, um, think of a hobby, crafts, if there's anything that you've always wanted to do, maybe it's time to go, go and have a go at that, you know, do something that you know that you're good at, yeah, yeah, I know, it's hard to get out of it, you know, something, um, we are all good, when we realise what's been happening, we're all going now, we, the people that are awake, are going through i think ptsd i really believe that it's like trauma it's like sometimes when i look at my grandchildren i've got flashbacks going on about what i've seen i never let it show and i never say anything but it's there and it's hard it's really really difficult it's like this little bit you, you just can't can't even fathom and it is ptsd okay it really is it's trauma that we're going through think about um, the people that are going to find out what's been going on, they're going to be going through all of that. So we have to be strong then for them. OK, so, you know, if you feel kind of in that state of um, despair, let it out, do your grieving um, try and repair as much as possible because we're going to be needed later on. Yeah, it is PTSD. It really is. OK, so we're going to do Mary Jane now. I know that you're Stephanie too, so Mary Jane, let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So this is your card, Mary Jane. There. <laughs> I'm going to have to put something on there because the cards keep falling off. They keep sliding. No, oh, that's not good. It's probably not going to stay on, but... Okay, so this is her card. So what do you think the ship represents? What do you think the, the flying fish represent? You know? Um, not very clear. I don't know if my webcam is a bit smudgy. Might be. I might have to clear it. I have been compulsive at photography and just found a site to put my photography onto products. And I just pulled the creative card, creativity card today. Yay! See, that's all good. Let me pick you one of these as well while everybody's concentrating on. Mary Jane there. I'm going to pick you one of these. These are lovely. These are Rebecca Campbell and they're Work Your Light. Rebecca Campbell, Campbell, Work Your Light. Okay. So let me pick one for Linda and I'll pick one as well. Anybody who wants one of these? Okay, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, 
an expression. Okay. So that one is, this one is for Linda. Okay. So it's all to do with kind of um, probably <laughs> stop being, um, you know, when you feel as if I'm, I'm cocooning myself in, you know, I'm, I've stopped, you know, visiting people or I've stopped going out or I'm kind of trying to, you know, um, look after my emotions. And, um, you know, sometimes we, you know, there's a, there's a point where we have to share our experiences with other people um, to get it off our chest sometimes, um, you know, because it all, it, try and keep it all in ourselves. Um, it's hard, it's hard. And it's also family stuff that is going on as well. The divide going on with families, you know, some family members who are for the Jabberoonie and some are not. Um, and um, yeah, that is not so great. So there it's saying, come out of your cave. Yeah, here we go, let's work your light. Rebecca Campbell. Mary Jane has some mighty big dreams. The anchor is up and she's ready to sail the clouds. Yay. Moving forward happily. Yes, I can see all of that in that card. It's like the preparation has already been done and now you're ready. It's like you're ready to, to, it's like you're on a quest, whether that be spiritual quest, whether that is a, a physical one, um, that could be to do with jobs, ambitions, um, it could be creativity. It's whatever you've decided that that is gonna be your focus. It's like you're more than ready to get going. Yeah. Hi, Mama. I've been caving and talking. Yes, too, too many people have been out on my own. Yeah. Hello. I'll put you down on our little list. Marie Line. Marie Line. Yeah. Her soul. Yeah. Okay. So I'll add you on. Um, Marie. Okay, so we're on number five um, and um, you're number seven. So ready to let the woo-woo out. Yay, your spiritual side. Yeah, let's have a look. Everything is going in the right direction. It's like it's so ready. You are so, so ready to do that. Um, your spirit guides are ready. Everything is facing in the one direction. It's all very good. Yeah. It's, it can be a reinvention of yourself as well. Okay. So Mary Jane. You know, these cards, I can't believe it. So look at this card and how similar is that to that? You know, I mean, it looks as if it's in a different direction, but it is going forward. It is going in the right, right direction. So, you know, and you've got the wheel, which is movement as well. Okay, so it's all good. Uh, lined up, have been learning for a long time. Ah, oh, like Mar Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn, Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn. Yeah, forward and spirit is, is following, quickly going. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the next one is Sue. Sue McCarthy. Okay. Have a look to look. French Canadian. Oh, I see. It's beautiful. I love it. 
Right, okay, so we're gonna do Sue McCarthy now. Here we go, Have a quick look. Mm. So this is for you. It's not very clear. Hello, Elaine. Okay, I'll put you down, Elaine and Concha. There you go. So what's everybody seeing with this card for Sue? What are you seeing for Sue? Hi, Elaine. It's time to trust my gifts. I'd go with that. I'd go with that. She's got a hand on that box. What do you think is in that box? She's got the key there in the globe. She's got key around her neck as well. So there's keys, unlocking things. Hi, Leanne. Hello. So keys unlocking things, unlocking the mysteries of life, unlocking, yeah. I don't want to say too much because I want you guys to have a go. So what do you guys think? What are you picking up for Sue? What are you feeling for her? About to get answers she was looking for. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, that's from Marilyn, Marilyn. Um, and Doreen, she's got the tools to accomplish. Yeah, yeah, it's all ready for her, isn't it? Purple shirt, spiritual download, yeah. The key of knowledge, I like this. Well done, everyone. Yep. Okay, let's have another look and see what I get. Okay, with the crystal ball, it's it could be that there is something linked with moving, opening new doors, um, you know, secrets being revealed, things that have been, you know, before you haven't been able to tap into, you're going to be able to tap in. Um, the answer is unlocking the best of her life. I like that one too. Yeah knowledge so cool yeah trust in your powers and you have an ease you can do it so you can do it okay let's have a look so see study this is my study card for my eight of pentacles it's where you're concentrating on or researching um, into something. You're putting a lot of energy, a lot of time, can be money, into this one thing that you want. Um, this can be to do with spiritual, because we've got the Hierophant, okay? And he's looking through his third eye. He's interested in, you know, the unknown things, things that aren't fully... Um, it's like you have to study to get to know more. Okay, and then we have my seven of pentacles, which is, um, you know, when to, to me, it's like there's a lot of barren land, which means that you've tried at things before. Maybe it was the wrong timing, but maybe now um, you've got two new energy um, coins there. It's like, do I keep planting them here or do I try different things? So it could be that you're going to try things a different way. Maybe you tried something before, but it was different circumstances. But now it's it's like everything is clicking into place and it seems to be a lot easier, a lot better. So, 
the time is getting closer. Yes. There you go, Sue. To you, I'm learning and my ancestors have been coming and pushing me gentle to connect to my purpose. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that was for Sue. Let's have a look at Marilyn. Marilyn. Okay. So here we go. This is your card. Okay. Oh, this is yours, Marilyn. This is yours. So I don't know if you can actually see that, but she's got books all around her neck, like a collar. She's got books and she's got scrolls in her hands. She's got her glasses there. She looks quite serious. Okay, but so is that to do with study? Is it to do with learning? Um, she's got, even got a book on her head. Okay, so she's, um, she's really surrounded with information. But what do you guys pick up? Okay, I'll put you down, Leanne, yeah? There you go. Educated in the arts. Okay. Okay, so this is for Marilyn. Marilyn. What do you think, guys? What do you think? She sees clearly, I like that. It's earthly based, yeah. Mm. Goal she's working towards, yeah. Looks like she's working very hard, doesn't she? at this hoarder of knowledge i like that hoarder of knowledge you know definitely earth based earthly based yeah there's something you're studying marie are you studying there's something that you're wanting to do or complete It is in her heart chakra also, love of the books, love of the books, okay. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Okay, so it could be that you've been finding out information that you may not um, understand how to um, process it. It could be something like that. Um, it feels as if there is some sort of new job. Um, or new projects that you're going to be starting up. Um, but it's, it's starting up from something that has made your heart maybe heavy or question things. It's like I, I'm feeling kind of isolated a little bit. Um, and in which case, then you reach out to do something else um, within your life. Um, it could be that you're going, you're going at it um, from a different point of view, going circulating around a um, a situation um, to find out more information, okay? But it, it could be that you're having to be very careful about the information that you're getting. Um, everything is a bit upside down, okay, at the moment. So it could be it's a bit on standstill um, for you. Um, but again, you've got the seven of pentacles, the same as, um, as it Sue got, 
okay, which does indicate that there may be two ways of going about this. Um, you also have the spiritual card, okay, which says, you know, you've got the spiritual power um, to do anything you want and you can tap into it and maybe use that as well. So I didn't read your message deliberately. Um, so let's have a look and see what you said. I started tapping into the tower and channeling gifts. Messages are coming in and I'm writing, communicating and reading. Uh, well done, Cappy. Doing very spiritual work. Yeah, all new. Well done, Wisdom Keeper. Akashic Records. New directions. Yeah, Akashic Records. Yeah. Self-doubt for sure. Messages are so strong. Lovely. It's lovely that you're sharing the messages as well. Um, yeah, that sounds really good. Mm. Okay. So um, let me have... Yes. I can't find the things that I want. You know, it's like one thing you're looking for. You can't bloom and find it. Never mind. I'll find it in a minute. Okay, so that was for... Hello, Jenny. Hi, it's lovely to see you. Charlie and Greg being a long time, but love you guys. Oh, just wanting to pop in and say hi. Well, hi. We're reading some cards today, lovely lady. I guess spirits don't want to talk about love today. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but we can pick these cards. These are our emotional cards. Is it somebody in particular? Have a look. For you significant other okay so for you I've got this card which means that you're trying to write a new story you're trying to decide um, on your happy ever after it's like should I go back should I go forwards what should I do okay so um, you're in a bit of a quandary at this time and the other card is the significant other there seems to be somebody around you um, and it's like they are drifting, okay? They're, they're kind of drifting and you might need them to be a bit more grounded. You might need them to kind of, um, you know, if, if you're not, if you haven't found that special person, then maybe this could be that they are um, busy doing something creative and um, that it may not be coming yet. It could be that they're not ready to ground themselves just yet. Okay. Yeah, it was another book. I've just seen that. You're right. Another book. Maybe you've got a book that you need to write. Maybe. Yeah. Could be. Okay. So the next person is Elaine. So Elaine Carlisle we're doing now. <laughs> and then we're doing Concha and then we're doing Leanne. Okay. So if anybody else would like us to pick them a card, just let us know and we'll add you. Okay. Should we try a different pack? Should we try a different pack now? Let's have a look. Let's try Nature's Whispers. These are really pretty cards as well. Okay, we'll try these ones. All right, so we're going to do this for Elaine. This card is called Laughter. We did have laughter last night when we was doing the, uh, we were doing our psychic development. Okay. 
What do you guys think of this for Elaine Carlisle? Oh, good. Yeah, it's nice to look at different decks. Yeah. So this deck is Nature's Whispers Oracle deck by it's Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. Okay. If you can see that properly. There. So, yeah. What do you think? So there's a unicorn there. Is that a unicorn? There's children. There's fun, there's laughter. Who do you think? Top chakras are very activated. That's for sure, Elaine, isn't it? That's about right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's doing really well with psychic development. Like sometimes we don't realize our progress until we actually think back um, to what we were like before because it becomes so natural sometimes, you know, um, because it's it blends with your personality when you start to de develop your psych psychic ability, your confidence grows and you start kind of really, it's like finding yourself, I would say, when you go into um, your psychic your psychic ability. It's really special. I'm just trying to find some nail varnish because I'm aware my nails are shocking. No, I shouldn't be that vain that I am. I'm that vain. No. Well, well, well. Okay, or what have we got? Oh, hi, Laura. It's good to see you. The flying horse, no unicorn. No, that's right. I don't think there is a, there isn't a horn there. Flying horse. Okay, reaching out to other realms. Well, Elaine has been doing some trance work, so that would be right. Um, Dorian says, very spiritual person with loving energy. Um, children are definitely healing. Pegasus. Yes, that's, I wasn't thinking of the word, but yeah, Pegasus. Don't take negativity seriously. Yeah, Pegasus, messages from past generations, kids, enchantment, and childlike freedom is needed at this time. Yeah, other realms. She definitely is channeling different realms. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, maybe we do need to do another session. Maybe this is what they're saying. We need to do another another trance night. Elaine, if you're if you're game. That's after Christmas, get Christmas done. Two horses. Is there two horses? Yeah, there is. It's two horses. You're right. There's another horse at the back. Horses mean strength as well, don't they? What else do um, power animals, if they're a horse, represent? So sometimes it's like being driven, doesn't it? It's like, you know, you're, you're, you're going forward and it's like a mission. It's like you're being, being drawn there. Have we got what is at the chest of the horse on the right? Healing also for horses. Let, can I just have a look? Let me just have a look closely. That's just its mane. Yeah, that's just its mane there. Um, let me let me give you a close up. See if I can do a close up for you.
There you go. Look at my avatar. Haha. <laughs> I see another being between the horses. Yeah, Mary Jane, Ali, you've helped me come out of my shell and have confidence to try to participate with the spirit friendly. Oh, lovely, Stephanie, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see a being there, like an angel flying alongside. Yeah. Mate or friend needs assistance in picking speed guidance on their journey. Yeah. Um, I don't think Elaine has a horse, but she may have a, um, a you know, that may be her power animal. Because don't forget, when we're going through different things in life, um, there are other animals that join us at different intervals, and it might not mean that they stay, um, but they are there for us. It's like when we need to kind of protect, say if we're a mum and we're protecting our children, it's like the lioness energy comes out, you know, and stands beside you. And, um, you know, when you get very protective of your, of your loved ones. So, yeah, but they might not need to stay there, you see because you may only need that for a little while. So, yeah, I'd love a horse. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to cope with um, a horse, bless them. But I can see the, the pull of it. I can see why somebody would want one. Colour of second horse like a phoenix, assisting someone in their rebirth. She has a spirit horse. Yeah, I can feel that, having a spirit horse around you. I'll pull some cards in a minute. I'm just painting my nails because I'm vain. When I first met Greg, I, I told him, I'm vain. It's not going to change anytime soon. <laughs> it's not. I like me makeup. I do. Yeah. It's like, if I haven't got my makeup on, the phone is just looking at the ceiling. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, so Sue said, I had a white polar bear come and help me in the beginning when I could not get out of my physical body. And the, the bear would take its paw and pull me out. Wow, this was when I first taught myself to meditate. That's wonderful, Sue. Lovely. Okay. Gracie, would you like us to put you down on the on the list? Um, I owe you a owe your reading. Very no, nice, no, lovely. Okay. All right, so let's have a look and see what I get for for Elaine. Oh, thank you, Paige. Yeah, it has been a bit of a challenge, <laughs> um, but we, we, we're through it. Well, we're not, but we're getting there. So Elaine. Elaine, I'm seeing you juggling your time and energy and trying to get back some of your energy as well, trying to kind of, you know, um steal back some you know stay grounded okay so um even if it is 10 minutes just to even if you're laying in a bath or something just to have that time alone um and just to cherish it because it does feel as if you need that um because there is chaos around you we've got the tower card and it's like there's chaos around but of course i know what's going on in your life at the moment Emotionally, you're having to let go and walk away from certain things, certain issues that would normally um, be triggers or upsets. You're now having to kind of say, it doesn't matter. In the scheme of things, what does it matter? I've got to let that go. Um, 
it's to do with also you're wanting everything to be perfect everything to be it's like your OCD I know where everything is and everything is and it's like I can't find anything now <laughs> okay um so that frustration is behind you I do feel um that there is a meeting coming up linked with doctor or somebody um of an like an importance meeting okay and this meeting there's going to be some really good news um, you're going to feel really, really grateful that you went to this appointment, this meeting, and it'll be like, yes, I've done it. Yes, this is great. OK, so you're going to be really, really happy. OK, so there you go. That is for you, Elaine. For you. The concha now. Have a look and see what conscious card is where is it here they are i've got card decks everywhere all over the place uh, let me try and get some space here put that there let's put that there and there that can be over there and they can go. I'm just getting myself straight a little bit because it's um yeah crazy. There. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Ah, uh, that's our pleasure, Lee. Okay, so the hero hierophant card pulled out of the deck. So the hierophant. Or hierophant is about spiritual teaching um it's about knowledge and it's about kind of anything you know that is about the messages that you're giving um from the spirit world so okay right concha conscious card renewal of peace okay so look at this card, isn't it just adorable? Okay, renewal of peace. Look it up close so you can see all the little bits and pieces. I'm sorry about my camera not being great. See if I can turn it around a little bit without knocking over <laughs> the microphone. Turn it around that way. Is that any better? Probably not. A little bit. Oh, yes, that's better, isn't it? Okay. You see that? So it's like all the animals looking at this new little angel that has appeared in the forest. Even look, there's faces in the trees. Look, faces in the trees. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So this is for Concha. What are you guys getting for Concha? Okay, with this beautiful card. Let me turn that round. Isn't this deck lovely? Just for anybody new who's come in, this is the deck. It's called Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. And this lady, uh, Josephine Wall, who I think is the illustrator, um, she does greeting cards and everything. Um, so yeah, you can actually buy, you know, like birthday cards and, and other cards. You, you've got that. Okay. So yeah, even the back of the cards I love. <laughs> the back of cards, because I love butterflies. Just lovely. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, if anybody would wants, while we're picking up on this, if anybody wants to join in the raffle, we're doing a raffle tonight. Um, well, it might not be finished tonight, but um, it's a pound a go. If you're outside of the UK, um, it's two pounds. So it's the equivalent of two pounds. If you're in the US, it's $2.50 around about that. 
Okay, so two dollars fifty, and um, there is what's available. Okay, the numbers, what's available. So if anybody wants to have a go, you can pay by PayPal or the website psychicalley.net. Okay, so I'm going to put your name in a bit thicker, Sue, because the one at the bottom looks as if, there we go. So I'm just there. That's better. Okay. Anybody wants to have a go? Number eight and twenty-eight for your lane. And 28. Yep. I've got you down for that, Elaine. Oh, sorry. So it's. So, oh, that's for Concha. For Concha. Okay, sorry. All right. Concha. I'll show you the prizes. I'll obviously do it a bit neater for you. The prize is you've got a choice of um, a, a 30 minute reading with me as a gift voucher that you can give to someone else if you want to keep it for yourself. We've got this beautiful angel. <laughs> this beautiful angel, okay, as well. Okay, so there's two main prizes. So you put tea light in there. Okay, it's a beautiful angel. Um, the wings are all sparkly. Well, she's just beautiful. Okay. Um, or there is the um, stomatolite, okay, crystal ball. Stomatolite with the stand, wooden stand. You've got a clear crystal ball. Um, with a glass stand, okay. Um, but I'm also going to add in this is a bangle, but I thought it would look nice as a crystal ball stand. So that, um, and we've got the black obsidian crystal ball as well, okay. So it's five prizes. Uh, sorry, two prizes, two main prizes, and two mystery prizes as well. So let's go back and have a look. Um, so much protection and curiosity. Yeah, it is like the animals are protecting. Even the faces in the in the uh, in the tree. Her peace will come when she finds her home. New beginnings, new beliefs. Yep. So beautiful. Um, resting during the storm. Spiritual help, guidance, keeping you safe while you're disconnect. While you disconnect. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Mary Jane pulled the lover's card. The lover's card can mean, um, you got me a lover's card yesterday, didn't you? In psychic development. Um, now the lover's card basically means where, um, you know, to, it, can be, it can be to do with love life, but sometimes it can be two people and it can be a separation or disconnected, um, you know, having to distance yourself from another person or something that you love. Okay, so it can mean that. I'll check in later. Must eat dinner. And I've been going all day. Okay, Paige, darling. Um, so Marilyn said, stillness, birthing a new project, divinely guided and slow, slowly rooting. I like that something coming from family lineage, greatly connected to nature. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I picked up yesterday for you that I, I felt as if you need a walk in the woods. You needed to, to get out in the fresh air. You needed to, you know, to, to be around trees, to be around water, whether it's a, a river, a lake or the sea, whichever you can get near. But I felt that with your concha, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one more reading um, left to do. Um, I'm just going to pick up some more info for Concha, and then I'm going to leave it leave it there. Um, but it's been lovely hanging out with you guys. And I will do it again soon. Right, Concha, let's have a look and see what the cards say. Okay, so I've got the moon, which can indicate um, it's, it's like the psychic ability. You've got strong psychic ability. Um, you're able to, to know that there is a light side and a dark side to, to everything and you're aware of it. And I feel that you're in harmony uh, with your light side, with your, um, with your psychic ability, with your ability to, um, to be the person that you know you can be. Okay, and um, look at that, you've got then the sun. Okay, the sun and the moon there. So look at that, you know, you've got the ability to understand um, so much more about your life. Um, and about what you're going through. It's like you're learning so many lessons at this moment in time, okay? Everything seems to be shining out brightly for you. Um, you're understanding that there are restrictions around you, and there are boundaries around you, and you're wanting security, okay? And this is saying that security is coming, okay? The Four of Wands, you can see she's looking forward. Um, she's excited about that. Um, ones are to do with fire, desire. I'm going in this direction. Um, I stay focused. You know, there is obstacles, okay? And that can make you angry or frustrated, okay? It's like, but you're nearly there with the nine. You're nearly, nearly there. All you have to do is just to hold on that little bit longer, okay? Even though you want to throw your toys at your pram and say, I've had enough, I've had enough. Um, there's going to be a meeting, an important meeting that is coming up for you. OK, this meeting seems to be um, some information that's going to come to you. It feels if I'm looking at the house. So this could be about a house, a home. OK, and there's your celebration card, your achievement. I've done it. This is it. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing and I can't wait to get there. So, yeah, it's on its way, Concha. On its way. That's a beautiful card, I love that. All right, so Leanne. This is for Leanne now. Okay. Oh, flying out. Cards. Are you there, Leanne? Let's just make sure she is there. <laughs> Do we want everyone to see my crap everywhere? Um, literally every cupboard and every drawer has been emptied and I'm in the process of sorting it out so you can imagine the chaos around yeah it's been a bit you know so yeah Leanne are you around are you there I'm gonna have another drink I get thirsty talking all the time So, so we may be leaving it there because our Leanne isn't, isn't there. And um, I'm going to do some of the readings that I promised. So I'm going to be doing some of those. And um, yeah, so I'll leave the information for the raffle. I'll leave that um, in photographs of these crystal balls. I'll leave them um, so people can see. 
what numbers are left and everything. Yeah, sorry, that's noisy. So I don't think we've got Leanne still here. So um, we'll leave that and um, yeah, have a lovely Christmas. I'll probably be on before Christmas. Um, I'm sorry there's no date night tonight, but um, Greg is out of hospital. He is doing really well. And um, I'm so proud of him. He's just such a, a warrior on, you know, just focusing on getting himself well. You know, he's been through so much and I'm just amazed, really. His body is still healing from the last operation, which was major as well. So, so yeah. Oh, Julie, I'm just about to go because I was doing a raffle and some readings. Um, so, so, yeah, that, that's what I was doing. But, but um, I was coming to the end because um, the last lady wasn't there. How are you, Julie? Are you doing all right? I'm just having a quick drink. <laughs> I can do you a quick one. Should we do Julie a quick one, everyone? Because everybody's doing it as well. We're all, all having a go. Oh, no, don't be lonely. Um, I, we'll do your reading as well. Okay, so... Let's have a look. So this is a card for Julie, okay? So this is for Julie. Okay. All right, be in service. Okay. So this is the card, be in service. So that is, to, to me, it's like be useful. Um, see what you can do um, for others, but also for yourself. So, you know, when you do something and you, you enjoy it, but it's also really, really good for others. Um, I feel that, but you guys have a look and see what you guys think. Okay, so let's close up. So you've got seahorse there, underwater. Oh, your totem animal. Oh, what else is in there? Seashells, beautiful. I'm doing an underwater um, ocean pyramid is what I'm doing. Yeah, so I've started doing my, well, I'm gonna be starting doing my pyramids again. I haven't been able to do them because I haven't had the room because it's been chaotic. So there you go. So what's everybody getting? Okay, so Doreen, having plenty of energy to help others. Yep. Yeah. What else are you guys picking up? And then... I'll put some cards for you as well, Julie, in a minute. Oh, you have been, yeah, helping others. That's good. That's lovely. Because sometimes it takes you out of yourself, doesn't it, as well? All the Six of Cups. Six of Cups can be reminiscing about how things used to be. Um, it can also be um, feeling kind of grateful and gratitude for what you have. Um, the six can sometimes mean, depending on the deck, that some can sometimes mean um, feeling rejected or feeling as though you wish things were, were different, okay? Things, you know, were better before, you know? Um, you know, it's sometimes looking backwards and saying, you know, have I made right decisions, you know? Um, could I have done things differently? So yeah, it's it's just about kind of processing everything sometimes in your life with the six of cups. Yeah. 
I'm going to be doing some little tuition things um, live as well. Um, I'm going to do them first of all live for the Patreons. Um, but then I will do, I will then share it after the Patreons have seen it. I'll then put it out there on, on Facebook as well. The holidays aren't helping and too much processing. The Norbert Loesch deck is perfect, perfect for you, Mary Jane, for the, um, for the first deck. Um, have I sent you the book, my book that I wrote, the booklet, with all the meanings from the Norbert Loesch ones? Because I can send it to you. You're on the chat, aren't you? The um, our classes chat. Um, Concha feels enlightenment, enlightened. There is calmness with all you give to others. Kindness, all that you do. Oh, that's lovely. Needs to come out of her shell, her seashell, yeah. And appreciate the beauties of what her surroundings are offering. As much as she gives, she can receive, yeah. Yes, I listened to you. No, I don't have the book. I'll send it to you. I send it to you, Mary Jane. But um, I wanted to talk about actually in a minute. I wanted to talk about my new course that I'm doing before I finish and go. Um, but I'll do that after Julie's reading. Okay, so let's have a look. Let me see what I get for Julie as well. Okay. So yeah, I feel that, that um, with that card, it's all about kind of exploring new things. Um, something's telling me that you may be purchasing a new pet, okay? It's like you need something around you, you need a pet. And it feels as if it, it feels as if it might be a new pet. A new pet is coming into your life. Um, a, a pet that you can easily kind of, um, you know, when it's like it's, it's easy to, it's not a difficult pet. It's not a pet that involves too much. Okay, but I'm definitely seeing a new pet around you, um, Julie. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, so there's been some anger or a feeling of frustration, um, a feeling of, you know, when other things are going round and round in your head and it's just making you cross. When you think about the past, when you think about what's happened, um, you know, and it's like you're processing everything and you're trying to go into fairness, what is right, what is wrong, what, you know, weighing up the pros and the cons with everything. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got my thinking card, my overthinking card as well, uh, where the dissecting is happening. Um, but, you are in alignment with yourself now. So you do have the 10 of cups, which to me says, you know, I am me. I'm happy with me. This is who I am. If you don't like me, tough. You know, I've done a lot of work on myself emotionally. Um, I don't need approval from others because I'm centered enough with me. OK, so um, it's a very good card. And it does mean that you've done a lot of work on yourself, um, Julie, that you've been processing a lot. Okay, so yeah, at the moment you just need wrapping up in cotton wool, you just need to kind of, it's like um, you're just repairing, you're just doing what you can to become centred within yourself, um, because it hasn't been difficult, it hasn't been easy for you, um, and so yeah, this is, this is, this is, at the moment it's just a, a lull, it won't, you won't stay there for very long, um, because look, these are the cards that are coming out for you. Um, so there seems to be some security around a home, um, a project, okay, that's going to be starting up, uh, new keys to the project. Um, this can be, you know, money is around you or new money is coming in, which is going to make you feel very secure um, and very centred. And, um, you know, but first of all, there might be a battle, okay, in order to get it. You might hear things you don't want to hear. Um, it may make, make, make you feel as if you've got to deal with things straight away. Um, but this is your outcome. You have the sun. 
um, the sun card, which basically says that, you know, happiness and brightness is on its way. And I can see some travel plans around you, getting yourself away, um, spending time with people that really you resonate with and you enjoy. So, yeah, there you go, Julie, it's for you. So I'm starting up a, um, a new 10 week psychic development course, if anybody would be interested. Um, this is the course. It starts on the 3rd of January, Monday, the 3rd of January. Um, week one is going to be protection, which it has to be, um, because although there might be people that have already started a course, um, you know, they, they we still need to go over protection. Um, so protection, spirit guides, we're going to be meeting spirit guides, com um, communicating with spirit guides, um, understanding them, listening to them. Um, we're also going to be doing power animals week one. OK, so uh, week two, uh, clairvoyance, developing new skills and new techniques um, and tips on how to create a better connection with your guides and the messages um, that they are trying to give you and others. Week three is to do with chakras, pendulums, colours and crystals. So it's a, an all round one. So you'll be learning about crystals, um, learning about the colours connected to chakras um, and you know how to use pendulums to find out if your chakras are balanced or not. Uh, week four is auras, seeing, fee feeling, sensing, drawing, repairing and giving auric readings. OK, so that's going to be week four. Week five is tarot. This is what I meant, um, um, you know, Mary Jane, um, because week five, we're going to be doing going through the major arcana cards, maybe a layout or two. OK, so we can learn how you can use major arcana cards only um, to do readings. OK, what their meanings can indicate. Week six is going to be the minor arcana cards. So we'll then go through the minor arcana, um, understanding connect, connective reading. So what one card means, and then if you add another card to it, it can um, change or enhance the reading. Week seven is mediumship, um, contacting past relatives, past loved ones. Um, photo reading. So that's um, with loved ones' photos. Um, past loved ones, we you you send them to me, and without knowing whose photo is for who, because you have to do the poker face, um, um, is um, we'll we'll then pick up on that person, okay, and um, you know, and then we'll find out how how we did afterwards. So you're picking up on the person's picture, the photograph. Then week eight um, is healing meditation angels and cord cutting okay um so week nine and you'll be teaching you'll be taught how to do a cord cutting for other people as well so i'll teach you how to do that uh week nine is psychic detective work going into cold cases remote viewing okay so um and week 10 is trance channeling and premonitions so it's all about kind of um, picking up on things for the future um, and um, channeling through your spirit guides and um, other people who want to um, who want to be contacting us. So yeah. So so yeah. Shall I put your name down, Mary Jane? I've been working so hard on myself this whole year. I want a new pet, a dog. I was thinking about trying to become a dog watcher or a person that houses them and helps them to find their forever home. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. A foster pet mum. Yeah. Hi, Vera, lovely. Okay, I'll add you to that, Mary Jane. If there's anybody else who's watching this who wants to join in for... Um, you don't have to join in right from the beginning. You can come in at any time. Um, if you fancy one of the lessons, you can come in for one of the lessons. Um, you don't have to have done all of them. Obviously, if you want to develop quickly this 10-week course 
from start to finish, but I would say by the end of it, you'll be able to read anything and anyone. Um, and you can ask the other people who've done um, any of the classes um, that I've, you know, people say, there's no way I'll be able to do that. And I'm saying you will. Um, that's how confident you will be by week 10. Okay, so a lot of people have done that and they're now out there professionally reading. So um, yeah, it can be a life-changing decision that you make to join in. Oh, you gave a reading and just finished. Well done, Vera. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I do love, love, love teaching. I do. Love, love, love. I might join in on some of them. What are the dates? At this time on these classes. Yeah, sorry, let me let me go through that. Um, so these classes, um, so they start on Monday, the 3rd of January, and it's a 10 week course, um, although you can continue afterwards if you want to. Um, the times, oh, that's typical. This particular one that I've printed out hasn't got the times anyway. I know some of them. Um, so it's 7.30 p.m. UK time which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, yeah, 2.30 and 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. So, um, and for the other one, central time would be, if it's 7.30, it'd be six hours behind. Mountain time is seven hours behind. Okay, so I know the American ones, um, I'm not sure the other ones, but anybody all over the world, you can, you can come along um to it okay so and um i will be recording all the classes as well and if you are a patreon you can then watch the classes if you would like to um if you are a patreon of 11 11 dollars a month which works at eight pound 26 um so it's like you being a fly on the wall and then you can see um I never thought I could do this. I love it and learn every day. Yeah, you're brilliant. Honestly, Concha, you're amazing. Um, you've just come on leaps and bounds. Yeah. Okay, guys, my throat's going now, so I'm going to go. Um, I love you all so much, and um, I'll pop on again soon. Um, I am a fly on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Take care, everyone. Bye.